latest government data shows U.S. jewelry store sales rose 0.6 percent year on year to just below two billion dollars in July. Any increase is good news, no matter how small. But at least jewelry price inflation fell 3 percent in July. Jewelry store sales for the first seven months have improved 4.3 percent year on year to 15.4 billion dollars. The average consumer price index for jewelry is up 2 percent. Now the government releases inflation a month ahead of store sales. For August, that CPI fell again, albeit slightly, down 1.4 percent from a year ago. But the month-to-month -month shift may be on the increase again as the prices for gold and platinum have been making gains due to higher investment demand and economic uncertainty. Fleur Corporation completed $500 million worth of infrastructure and plant upgrades at Debswana's Schwanegg Cut 8 expansion project in Botswana. The upgrade enables the removal of overburden, which then allows the mine access to 91 million tons of ore that is expected to yield about 102 million carats of diamonds and extend the life of the mine to 2025. This upgrade project was completed with just minimal disruption to ongoing production, said Fleur. As part of this upgrade project, too, Fleur, Debswana, and its contractors undertook sustainability initiatives that have directly benefited the surrounding communities. At another of Debswana's mines, Fleur is undertaking a pre-feasibility study for a new treatment plant about 120 miles west of Francistown. The Gallup organization warned small business owners in the U.S. to prepare for the effects of what they called a political economy given the nation's upcoming elections coupled with the looming threat for the so-called fiscal cliff. More than six in ten economists expect that congressional inaction will plunge the U.S. into a recession again next year, which would, of course, severely impact consumer spending. But Gallup concluded that political intensity from campaigns will only increase, and action on the fiscal cliff is unlikely as politicians are leaving Washington to travel the country campaigning on their own behalf. Secondly, any action by the Federal Reserve only helps on the margins of the economy since it cannot replace government action on the fiscal cliff. So for contingency purposes, Gallup advises business owners to recall that three-month period in 2011 during the last government stalemate Consumer confidence plunged from negative 23 points in May to negative 56 points in August, the worst showing since the Great Recession. Consumer confidence currently stands at only negative 16 points. Gallup said pay attention to consumer sentiment and plan inventory levels and capital investment accordingly as political intensity and inaction take center stage in the months ahead. Time now to check on how precious metals prices performed this past week. For all the latest industry news, be sure to check diamonds.net and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.